Okay. And here we go. All right, now what are the odds that the audio levels are correct here? Can you say something? Say hi to people, Paul. Yeah, hi. My name is Paul Spooner, and I'm streaming with Seamus Young. It's exciting. All right, is this where... This is, this is definitely a more complicated stream than what I'm used to doing, and it's freaking me out. There's too many moving parts, and I'm so worried we've forgotten something. So before I hit the start game button, I just want to make sure... Paul's a little quiet. Well, that's terrible. Let me give Paul a little gotta more. Gotta be, gotta be louder. I can move I, my mic. No, 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 no. Let me, let there, me. I can move my mic. No, no. Okay. No, Adjust let me, let me, end. let me do it on my end. Yeah. You, you and I should both be about even now. All right. All right. How does that sound? Yeah. It says we're at the same volume level. And if the game's too loud, I'll turn it down. I'll turn the game down. Can we do this? Oh, I can't hear the game at all. Yeah, it's not really making any sound. Well, that's good. Well, oh, here we go. Who am I today? Francis. All right. He's got a beard just like me. And is balding just like me. He's just really a tall, muscular version of you. Who, like ve who yeah. likes vests? <laughs> Vests are cool. Vests are 90s, 80s, 70s. Wait, where are our vests from? Here we go. Oh, that's cool how it kind of it shows all the characters and then zooms over to one of your characters, whichever one you're playing. Welcome there, wow. Sig's Pat. Glad you made it. So, the, the, the thing I wanted to tell you is this is one of my favorite games of all time i absolutely love this game um if you come over here you, like stand like right here and look up in the distance you'll see mercy hospital oh look at that that's our goal that's where we're going yeah that's where the the helicopter man told us to go yep and that's that that's the goal of this campaign is to arrive on the roof of that building so it's that's where we're going and there's um, spatial continuity between there and here and there, even though there's loading screens. And I really appreciate that. Uh, you I'm trying to shoot out the sign. I don't think it's possible. Yeah. Uh, you're going to attract undead, How by much... the way. Oh, yeah? How much ammo do I have for this gun? I forget how much you get on the pistol, I think. Is it infinite? The pistol might be infinite, but other Seems weapons are not. I don't see any... Oh, I don't have any other weapons. Oh, All get right. your get your med kit. Cool. So this is like, this takes me back. This is very, very 90s graphics -y. I guess it's really aughts graphics. Because yeah. this was what, 10 years ago? Yeah, 10 years ago. It turns 10 next year. Hey, Paul, grab this med kit right here. Turn your flashlight on and off. Grab the med kit. Was it E? E, got it. And an Uzi or something? Uh, either yeah. use your shotgun, whichever one is good for you. Yeah. And the, oh, I see. That's just a bunch of bullets. Cool. So what happens if I jump off the edge here? Uh, the bots. The bots are really quick they to help, help you. Me. Yeah, the bot. The bots will help you much faster than a human being. <laughs> I'm not allowed to jump off the edge. Should yeah. I? How hard should I try to jump off the edge? I guess we don't want to ruin the playthrough, right? right? Yeah, let's not do that right at the start. Um, so is this going to be like, uh, is there friendly fire in this? If I shoot, um, you, do you take damage? Uh, a very little. Now, on the harder difficulty or on realism difficulty, it is brutal to shoot a teammate. But here it's just like real. It's real gentle about that. Welcome, Ellie oh. the Alien. They don't Ellie seem to be the very alien. smart about like walking around corners and stuff. They they are zombies. They are not smart. Um, but there's a lot of them. Like you, 
This is this is not how many we're gonna fight. Oh. This is just sort of the little warm up here. Here you go first, Paul Spooner. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Here we go. Oh, that oh, sound? Oh no! Wow. He's in the other room, he's to your left. Great googly moogly. The, the hunter's dead, guys. Yeah, that's kind of weird there. Um, so... <laughs> hunter, so, so he's got a hoodie. Does that make him a hunter? Yes, or? yes. So, like, if I pick up a hoodie, do I become a hunter? <laughs> no. You can't wear anything but a vest. Really? Yeah, this is before... Uh, if they it? made this game today... Why am I going in here? We don't need to search for resources. We're fine. If this was made today, you would, of course, be able to buy or collect hats for all the characters. And we'd be running around <laughs> in here. We, you know, I'd have the big sombrero for Bill. And you'd be wearing, you know, a cap that makes you look like Jane from Firefly. Some sort of like a haberdasher would be in game, and you could rescue him and buy new hats in the middle of a round. I hear a smoker around here. So what does that mean? I don't know. I don't know what. I just know that guy was a hunter because the the bots kept calling him a hunter. Um, I forget all the hotkeys. Oh, there he is. Nice try. Oh, over here. Does he, does the smoke, like, hurt you or something? No, he actually grabs you with a super long tongue. Oh. And, and that was a boomer. That was another special infected. If you kill him close to you, or if he gets close to you, he explodes, covers you with bile, and that it attracts all the infected. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So they're they're different kinds. Yeah. Is that guy getting hold up the wall by something? Yeah, I don't know what was going on there. It looks like a it got stuck on a tiny little piece of scenery. That was weird. I've never seen that. Reloading. So do I want to use my Molotov at some point or do we save that for Save that. Special? You okay. save that for when you um I'll tell you when we'll we'll use it. There's a really big infected called the tank. And when the tank shows up, the tank is an interesting one. He's just this huge, big, huge, big. He's this really big muscle beast. And if you set him on fire, he's guaranteed to die. He's got like a million hit points. The problem is, if you set him on fire, he runs faster. So there's a bit of a trade-off. Oh. You can shoot him with guns, and you can probably keep away from him, but maybe not. Or you can set him on fire, and he'll be harder to run away from, but he's guaranteed to die. Ah. Yeah, eventually. This is hard because I really can't keep up with chat tonight. Sorry, chat. Oh. I still like you, chat. Oh, no. I should not have gone outside, apparently. What are you doing going outside? I oh, don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there's so many of them. Time to use my gun. Use the gun to shoot them with bullets from your gun.
I hear a boomer. Oh. He's on the other side of the truck. He's, uh... He's behind the volatile chemicals sign. Got him. Smoker. Oh, there's another guy. Do they just spawn? Yes. Infinitely? Oh, get down here. Oh, there's a whole bunch coming from this way. Yeah, you, you, you'll want to come down here. Oh no. Oh, what did you do? Just it was come Lewis. down. A hunter has been Zoe. Oh, there's so many of them. So you can't move when you're being attacked? Is that how that works? Correct. You move very slowly. They stun lock you for a second. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm incapacitated. Anyway, down these stairs, oh, if, if we... Alright, this guy's healing me. Okay, here we go. Someone should heal Zoe. Zoe looks like she's hurt. Pretty bad. You don't heal the bots. Never heal the bots. Let them oh, heal you. No. The bots are worthless people. Okay. They don't count. And that's level one. Very nice. Out killed by Lewis. What an embarrassment. <laughs> uh, okay. So you want to stay together. Because uh, you can't catch up if you get pinned down. And then there are like some certain kinds of zombies that will uh, incapacitate you somehow. Right. There's some great environmental storytelling. We don't have time to mess with it now, but if you read these, um, the stuff on the walls, it's pretty good. Just lots of little oh, details. Yeah. This is the the only thing you find out about, you know, what's been going on, how we got to where we are now. Apparently, this happened while CRT monitors was still a thing. Maybe it's supposed to show that this is a bad part of town. <laughs> a bad part of town where they still use CRTs. Alright, so that's the first level. It's That was just the first baby level. So it's going to get harder okay. from here, but not a lot. This is this is definitely the, zombies everywhere. the easiest of the campaigns. Oh. Although we are playing with bots, and bots are not very smart. Bots are exactly what you'd expect from bots. They have amazing aim, incredible reaction time, no sense of strategy. So exactly what you'd yeah. expect from a bot. Thanks, Bill. What was happening? Oh, oh, I've been constricted. I... Yeah, shame it's going to save me. I hear the boomer. The environment design here is very interesting because it's there are very few places where you can fight with your back to the wall. Oh. Oh, oh! By the boomer or something? You hear that crying? No. No, all I hear is environmental stuff. Oh!
So I see what you mean about it being a, a team, like a working together team game where you can very easily be taken out by a, a certain kind of zombie, like the smokers or the... Oh, get together. Here comes a, a wave. Can they come through the windows? I don't remember. Seems like no. Yeah, this is a really good spot to have a wave come at us. We were fortunate. It's fantastic. Sometimes they come when you're in the open. Th this uh, these are not scripted. The this is uh the game has an a has an AI director and it looks at the state of the players and sees how much stress the group is under and uses that to determine oh. if, you know, it should spawn more foes. Oh no, I'm all smokied. Why is it so smoky here? Is it that pipe? Okay, there, there's the witch. It's the witch is just. What does that mean? Oh, it's okay. it's a special infected that won't move, but uh -huh. it's over there on the right. If you get close to her or shine your flashlight on her or shoot her, she will come after you and she will kill you, and it will be it will be bad. Wow. Very very fast. So you just stay away from her, huh? Right, but sometimes she's in the way, and it's like okay, well we gotta we oh. gotta kill her, and it, you you really gotta kill her quickly. If you do piss her off. Kill her as fast as possible. Also, her her screams tend to attract bad stuff. It seems like all this gunfire would attract. I know. A smoker. No, stay away. Oh nope. That was bad. Apparently. What happened? Oh, somebody pissed off the witch. the witch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm pounced because my team left me. And I'm dead. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of... I guess That's this is what happens when you play with bots and a newbie. Oh, you guys yeah. are here just in time to save me. Him. Oh, I see. Wait, so what is that? Is that the hunter? Yes. Oh yeah, it's the hunter. All right. Well, it's kind of embarrassing to die on the second level, but there it is. Oh, so you're gone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're still alive. I'm still alive. Uh, do you want to reset the level? Or no, something? no, no. Just keep going. Just keep going, but I know where I'm going. I was following you. Well, I mean, it you is Valve level design. You should, yeah. You, you should be able to yeah. figure it out. Oh, look at this. Reload this thing. Spooky things. This kind of feels like Haunted Mansion. Rescue survivors. That's rewarding. <laughs> Look out, Zoe. I don't know why I'm talking to Zoe. That doesn't seem to make much sense. Yeah, she's not in voice chat. <laughs> oh, nice. Good job, Zoe. Get a assault rifle. That sounds like a great plan. Oh, assault rifle. I'm sitting here reading the chat. Rifle. Oh, hunting rifle. There we go. A scope. Nice. Hey, you're back. Oh, I see. You're the survivor, and you got that. Ah, I see. Right. I hear this boomer, but I do not see. I feel like the uh, the assault rifle might be better for this level. 
Ah, uh, the good old M4. So, I'm assuming they use the same, like, they made Team Fortress, didn't they? Did they all make Team Fortress? Yes. Thanks. Team Fortress 2, not the original. Oh, okay. They hired the guys that made the original and had them make 2. So what are you using, auto shotgun? Yeah. There's something over there. I'm sure it's nothing. Where'd you go? <laughs> oh, there you are. I'm just following you around. I should probably be in front so that you can see me on stream. Uh, no thanks. I hear the tank, I believe. Although this would be a weird place for the tank. We're just about to get to an event. And I hear a smoker. I hear a lot of stuff going on. Are we going to go upstairs? Maybe they're on the level above us. There we go. This is a great place to pull up. Actually, we're about to hold this next room. We're about to what? This room is a scripted event where we're going to have to hold off a few waves to get through this uh, door. Oh, it makes a bunch of noise or something. Yeah. What? Totally didn't see that one. Yeah, I was getting hit from something too. Oh, a gas can. I know I hear the tank. So we want to wait to clear this zone out before we hit the button? Oh, a minigun. Nice. Pills here. Is this infinite ammo? Yeah. Uh, Ooh. the bots will not hit the button, so I will hit the button. Uh, yeah, I can hear something. Alright, so I'm just standing here. Seamus alerted the- oh, Seamus, you alerted the horde. Well, you have to, to open the door there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm giving me a hard time. Oh, okay. They used to come through that hole in the floor. There they are. Oh, a minigun makes it trivial. Maybe. The bots reloaded at exactly the same time. All right, after you. Okay. So this should be pretty clear then. Yep. Oh, it's a tank. Ow. Down the stairs. I can't see it anymore. Yeah, it's, it can't be dead already. It takes several seconds for fire to kill it. Weird. Oh, well, that Zoe's was still alive. How does Zoe stay alive? Stop touching me. I'm trying to go. <laughs> Did they change the hit point value of tanks? That was over so quickly. Or maybe I'm just Are remembering. We on We're on normal, which is kind of like a lot of people don't play on normal. Uh,
Oh, another boomer. Oh, oh no. Take a look behind. Oh, Zoe came back for me. Thanks, Zoe. You're always watching out for me. Do the AIs have different, um, do they have different AIs for the different characters? I don't know. I don't think so. Ah, a boomer exploded on me. Yeah, don't, I'm don't shoot them. All right. This way. We're almost there. Oh, nice. This should be normal mode. Okay. It's her off. It and should it definitely be. It's a hospital. And. Why? Oh! How did you do that? Oh. Come on, get in here. Coming. I don't know who set that off. It was probably one of the bots. <laughs> they just go through the door and we win. Except for Zoe. Oh. Can we leave Zoe behind? No, no, pick her up. There we go. See, I'm used to I'm used to playing with with people who have experience with the game. As soon as you get to the end of a level, somebody somebody always cheekily shoots that car, but everybody knows just dive for the safe house. But of course, you and the bots oh. do not know to do that. So you stood outside and fought them. And I was like, <laughs> "Why aren't you coming in here?" Oh, cuz well, cuz you don't know that that gag. <laughs> uh trolled by the host. But I sort of trolled myself because it didn't work. Like it was supposed to be, oh no, we gotta <laughs> run to the end. No, it just we everybody stood there. <laughs> um, dude, uh, con, you heal, heal your first your, aid. Heal yourself definitely, Hold and then pick up the extra one. med kit. Oh, I see. Yeah, and then there's one right so there. Should, should I use the pills too? No, no, no. Give they they give you a speed oh. boost, and they'll like top off your health but the, i believe it that use health the, the molotov here this is the right place for the molotov right yeah zoe looks cold i like the accuracy on this weapon The, uh, the environment looks enough like PUBG that I kind of want to be looking for scopes and things on the ground. The amazing thing have about the... No, I have not. I've watched it quite a bit. It's a fun game to watch, but I've never played. Mm. The, the great thing about this game is that it's sort of, sort of set in Western Pennsylvania. They used Western PA as, envi as inspiration for environment design. Oh, look, there's Mercy Hospital again. So you can see we're getting closer. Yeah. Um, so a lot of this, especially when you get around the train, the, there's a, an area that is kind of focuses on traveling near train tracks and near trains. And that one looks so much like the area around my house, the area I used to play at as a kid. We played around a lot of train tracks. And so it, it's, I don't want to call it nostalgic, but it's kind of, gives it an extra layer of verisimilitude because it looks really good. Don't shoot teammates. Sure. I I've always I always shoot Francis. <laughs> His black outfit oh, just okay. makes him seem shoot a bull. Uh, that's uh the witch over I there. Be careful. Uh, she's on, to the left. The roof, I think? No, she's to our left over there. Okay, so just don't shoot her, don't get close to her. Yeah, here's That's another here. we have to we have to go up here. Start the lift. Oh, okay. Is that going to trigger the witch? It should not. 
but we're going to have to fight a bunch of dudes, and that might trigger the witch. Or not trigger the witch, but that might cause us to shoot and trigger the witch if we're careless. So, oh, there's a ladder. I see. My goodness. Yeah, I think one of you wow. shot that gas pump. Probably you or the bots. <laughs> All right. all right. Not so bad. Now oh. I can throw a Molotov on the What happened to that smoker? It just... Did it kill itself? <laughs> it, it tongued the fire. Hunter. A while ago, and then I stopped hearing it, and that really worries me. Where was it? Uh, it was climbing up the outside, back the way we came. Yeah, I refuse to believe that that guy can climb anything. <laughs> it doesn't seem very plausible. Like, I can believe that he can puke bile that attracts zombies, because obviously that makes total sense. But, <laughs> the, but no, a guy with that physique climbing a ladder at high speed, I'm sorry, that's just... I, I can't believe in that. Pills here. A lot of pills here. So should we use some and then pick more up, or how does that work? Oh, uh, you can. Yeah, if there's a bunch of extras. Eat the entire bottle of pills, and then, you know, enjoy the extra God. health. No, pills make you more healthy. Everybody knows this. It's science. Ah. Alright, I'm behind you. Lewis is in front of us, oh, somehow. Is that another witch, or are we just still near? Because we're near where she is in physical space. Yeah, yeah. I think that zombie jumped to her death. That was hilarious. Oh no, I shot her in midair. Tank! Tank, 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 tank! Whoa! I backed up real quick, apparently. Wow! He just gave up. <laughs> he lost the will to live. That is really weird how fast. I wonder if this the balance got changed since the last time I played this game. He lost the lack of bullets to live. Is that smoker dead? Did somebody kill it? Uh, looks... Ah, yeah, who's that? Oh no! There's so many! Can someone use a grenade? That's a pipe bomb. It makes a loud beeping that attracts the infected. Then they gather around it and it blows up. So it's really handy oh, when nice. a horde comes, which I used it then, but then, you know. Zoe decided you, to go and check it out. It attracts Zoe too, apparently. Oh, look, shiny. I hate this play. This is the worst part in the whole campaign. You have to jump into a hole. It's a one-way jump, and I hate the sewers. It's not the hardest, but it's... I, I do not like it in there. Anyway, oh, jump oh, on in. I'm almost out of bullets. Do we have more bullets around somewhere, maybe? Uh, maybe there's some in that hole. 
Yeah, I'll, oh, that's a great idea. I'll do that. Anyway, either of you two uh, going? No. I don't see any bullets. Oh, I was wrong. This is not where the bullets are. This is where human Man. waste goes. The opposite of bullets. I can't remember the way right. through here either. the way through here. It's been seven years since the last time I played this game. <laughs> oh, here's the bullets. Here. You know, hey, the nice. na piles of naturally occurring bullets like you find in sewers. That's right. It's a whole collection of bullets. Ah. At least they don't keep going, like, if you just shoot their legs and they keep crawling on their arms or whatever. That doesn't happen, right? No. No, they're technically they not zombies. They're they're, li eventually. they're living humans who are just driven insane by a virus. Oh, okay. Ah. Good So what do they eat? Um... Us? <laughs> it's not working out so well for them. Bullets, yeah, I did. Apparently. Yes. You might want to <laughs> hurry up and get close to me. I was just having fun shooting zombies. Great time. You're doing great, Lewis, there with your back to the opening. Oh, sorry, Lewis. Nice try, Boomer. Shove Boomer's back before she can... oh. oh! I got the Boomer. But I didn't realize there was also a Hunter. I don't think it was possible to realize that. Well, you can hear it if you're paying oh. attention to what you're doing. Like a ladder. Oh, that's what we're looking Mercy for. Hospital outlet. Yay! Oh, look. Maybe There's no zombies around. We're finally safe and nothing can go wrong. That's it. We win. So that was Left for Yay. Dead. No Mercy campaign. Oh. Oh, really I guess good. to make up for the... I guess to make up for the... Oh! Wow. Well, Zoe got real, real tank. And I hear this boomer. Or are we done? We're we're almost at the end. Another hunter. Oh, come on, that one was mine. Hurry! Come on, Francis. Lewis, whatever your name is. 
we go. We made it. We're safe for now. <laughs> Get the defibrillator. Yeah, we're going to have to um, look for that. See, the defibrillator, uh, Allie the alien suggests we get the defibrillator, but uh, those didn't show up until um, Left 4 Dead 2. So that would be a long search. Oh. Huh. Let's stay like with my... You have to pick up the extra ammo. Like, it doesn't just automatically re refresh everything. You have to go through the tradition of or whatever it is. The ritual. Yes. Yeah. And that way the game can uh, refill your ammo without providing new weapons, like it did in the sewers. Right. <sighs> this thing is broken. It doesn't work. This is terrible. How good this game looks for a 10-year-old game. It looks fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's not high res, but it's all very consistent, which is really the most important thing. No, don't get up. The, the worst is when you're trying to make something look good, and so you get a decent model, and then you put a really nice texture on it. But yeah. you just have one really nice texture, and all the rest <laughs> of the textures are bad, and then it's just like, nope, no, now, now I know exactly how wrong everything is. But this is like, there aren't super high textures. They're all decent, and the geometry is all decent, and it looks good. What does that sound? A boomer down there. Not sure why I came in. Uh, fine, whatever. <laughs> I guess I'll go in this dead end room for no reason, even though I should know my way through this level. I can't believe how much I've forgotten since the last time. This game was really important to me. I met several of my friends through this game. This game was the inspiration for Pixel City, my first big programming project. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought you did that before this game came out. Nope, nope. This was, in fact, it was the director's com commentary of this campaign that we're doing now, that very first level. Um... It mentioned the buildings in the distance were basically just silhouettes with light squares on it. And I'm like, I wonder how far you can take that idea. Uh, nice. And it's kind of interesting that we're playing it now because I'm I'm coming back to Pixel City. I'm I'm doing another programming project and it's sort of a next gen oh, nice. Pixel City. So it's gonna like do on the ground detail. So it's weird that I'm coming back Ooh. to the game now after all this time when this is the game that inspired the original project. Yeah. The doctor will be with you shortly. All right. Go ahead, push the button, and we can leave, and everything will be great. Push the button, Gordon. Ready. This is a, a thing in Left 4 Dead 1. Sticking in a corner, all piling up together, is a great strategy. In Left 4 Dead 2, it, it's so powerful that it's kind of overpowerful. This is just the way to play this game, is everybody gets into a big... Pile. It says don't shoot teammates, but she's standing right in front of me. I don't know what she expected. Um, Two wow. in Left 4 Dead 2, they fixed this. So that piling up is no longer the best strategy. And that's a real improvement on Left 4 Dead 2. 
I, I like this game generally better in terms of aesthetics, but yeah, that's an important balance change. There's a new infected type called the Spitter, I think. Uh-oh. Not doing so well. Get in the elevator! I would if I could move. There we go. Think? Yeah, there we go. Oh, they're still up. Nice. They're in Left 4 Dead 2. Really, really large elevator. <laughs> it really is. Vampires. <laughs> um, in Left 4 Dead 2, there's a spitter enemy which spews acid all over the floor. So everybody piles up in the corner like, haha, we're safe forever. And then you're all standing in acid and you need to scatter. And that's pretty good. Oh. Yeah. There's a jockey that grabs you and kind of drags you away from the others. And, uh... That's, pre that's pretty good for breaking up the group. Just a lot more time is spent trying to keep the it, the players from piling up. Because you're just so powerful. If you can just all stand back to back. Sure. You're very hard to beat. No, don't get up. Oh, bye. Don't, don't I just sent one of them. <laughs> just sent one of them skydiving. That was cool. Does this tape? Nope, this tape does nothing. You can just walk right through it. Uh, pro tip don't. <laughs> if you're talking well, about the tape. I won't fall off. Apparently, I'll just. I mean, yeah. See? I can't fall off doesn't really matter. That's a really cool thing, too. Yeah, it is. There is a cost. It's not like it's a magical, invincible wall. But... Right. Oh, man, that was like a versus mode move. Where a smoker pulled you out of the group. Yeah. And then a hunter pounced you. And oh. then a boomer followed up. So that was pretty good. Yeah. Well done, everybody. Why well, don't congratulate the infected? Well, you know they they had a, a good strategy. We're like almost Some, to the uh, end, tingles? so no, no, we're okay we're there, really buddy? almost there. Oh, stop. Yeah, that's not the way. Can't we just live here now? Okay, we live here now. <laughs> there he is! Oh, he was moonwalking there for a second. All he needed was one more shot. Uh -huh. Expert mode. You see how we're all highlighted through the walls? When you play in expert mode... Yeah? Um, you don't get that. Oh, wow. And you do tons of damage to your friends, and it's way harder. I got... I've beaten all the campaigns on expert mode, but I didn't get the achievement for one of them. It just had a bug that it just didn't give you the achievement. I'm still salty wow. about it. I've beaten them all twice. <laughs> like, oh, seriously wow, salty. Left. Bet the yeah, I'll bet the chopper like pilot is just going to be delighted to hear from us. This is it. This is uh, the final level. All right. We are at the. We are on the roof of Mercy Hospital. And all we have to do is survive so, until the helicopter gets us. How do they know that we're not carrying the virus? Ilseroth, Ilseroth, you're right. I'm mixing up realism mode and expert mode. I have not beaten 
the entire game on realism mode. I've beaten one campaign on realism mode. And that was a meat grinder. I, I wasn't trying... That, that was a bit too... Too much of a meat grinder for me. I, it's definitely like a whole nother game. Playing this game on realism mode is another skill <laughs> apart from play. You, it changes how you play. How, you really, you can't play with bots. You have to have you and three other masochistic friends who are serious about getting good at this game. All right. Healed up. I like oh, way back to full health with the health kit. Like, it brings you a little ways up. Yeah, so there's always the, oh, I could use another entire health kit to get another, you know, 10% health. Right. Ooh. Oh. I was like, do you have to walk along this ledge? No, there's a... There's a Worst walkway. hunter ever. <laughs> Alright, whoa. Oh, here we are on the roof. Oh, there's so many people. Okay. This is our go okay. We're gonna. Our ultimate goal is this platform, but we have to go over there okay. to the radio room, call for the helicopter, defend ourselves until the helicopter gets here, and it's gonna get absolutely nuts. Nothing like what we've seen before. But when the helicopter gets <laughs> here, we're gonna have to make a mad dash up this ramp to the helicopter. And if you get left behind in that last push, there's no way we can come back for you. So you really gotta go all all out at the same time. Okay. Is there any point in clearing out the area or? A little bit, like, yeah. We're going to have to run around. We're going to fight anything. two tanks here. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Just but make this spawn, place right? here. Like, yeah. Get these gas cans out of the room where we plan on hiding or holding up. That's a bad place for that. That's a good place for that. You ready? We've got no, extra mid. Oh, oh, you don't need to clear down there. We probably won't. If you go down there, oh, something's okay. gone horribly wrong. Go ahead, hit the button. Push the button, Gordon. I'm gonna grab the the med kit. Since we have extra med kits, do you want to use one now? No, no. We'll need it like in the break between waves. Oh, okay. Answer the radio. Oh, is that all we have to do? Yeah, it's it's okay, great. It. All right, well, let's, all we you know, have to do. let's just sit down and wait great. then. Well, yeah, light a cigarette. This room is the optimal place, but I kind of don't want us all four to pile into that room. Oh, the bots won't do it anyway. But, you know, if you want to get your back into that room, that would... Uh... Summon a rescue. Oh, we haven't summoned the rescue yet? Yeah. They know when we've asked for the rescue. They're listening. The infected are listening on their radios. And they're like, ah, and now they're probably, trying to leave. Probably they can't, they can't stop listening to the radio, which is why they've gone insane. <laughs> what are you doing, Lewis? I know you're a bot, but come on, buddy. <laughs> you can like do got better great than that. Sight lines here. All right, I'm gonna stand here, with my back to this pipe, and shoot around the corner. I think there's a hunter. Oh, there they, here they come. Their bots are all bunching up now. Good job, guys. It's gonna be running a bit late. It's like they have a schedule and they're like, oh, actually, we checked our schedule and we're gonna be running late. Lewis, what, what are you doing? Is. Lewis has decided to go on walkabout. <laughs> oh, come on. 
These bullets sure have a lot of momentum. Lewis, what are you even doing, buddy? Well, he's certainly attracting a lot of, uh, a lot of zombies. Alright. Well, it's nice having the ammo right here. Uh... Oh, come oh. on. That was bad. Get in the closet, get in the closet. Oh no, it's tank time! It's tank time, do not get in that closet. Not in the closet. Not in the closet. <laughs> okay. Whoa. What's he doing? I've never seen it do geometry. this before. <laughs> I think he was hung up on the geometry. That's weird, I've never seen that happen before. To... Did the AI get worse? He tried to climb through the window and then realized that he's too tall to climb through the window. He was t You know what? He opened up the console. He was typing no clip. <laughs> oh, boomer to your left. Too late. Seven minutes? I wonder... That can't be real time. Wow. It's gonna be a long time. They made the tanks easier, but now it takes four times as long. Oh my goodness. Turn my back and there's a whole bunch of them. Alright, I liked it here. This, this works well. Second tank! Zoe. Oh. There he's hung up in the wall again. These tanks go down so quick. Yeah, they just they just love to climb into those windows and die. Amazing. That's weird. It's... Let's do this. Alright, here we go. Where is it? I don't see it. And who's operating those searchlights? Oh, they're automated, apparently. Oh, oh no. I fell off the platform. No! <laughs> I'm back. Hey, we did it. No one left behind. And then a smoker grabs the helicopter and it crashes <laughs> and we all die. Yeah, why is he circling the top of the, the building? He's like, well, you gotta give the infected a fair, a fair chance. Yeah. It's lame to just pull away. The tank, the tank just takes a boomer and throws it into the blades of the helicopter. Survivors have escaped. All right. Oh, and then we get credits. I, I love the credits. We'll watch these. This is one of my favorite things about the game, because you get to see how did I do. That, that took an hour. That's oh. long for a mercy. That's that's long for a mercy campaign. Hmm. So we need Seamus. Fascinated. Yep. Lewis, man, Lewis was just killing everything. Yeah. Good job, Lewis. You killed all the boomers. Common infected killed. Fewest friendly fire incidents. Whoops! I'm always the worst at that. <laughs> I healed nobody. 
Hey, headshot. There we go. We're harmed in the making of this film. So that was fun. Uh, this, like I said, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I like the the way it encourages teamwork. Uh, I love the entire aesthetic of it. A lot of great ideas in this game. Every game feels a little different. Uh, it feels a little different than the last time I played it, but it's still the, the game I loved. Yeah. Yeah, it was interesting coming to it from... I mean, there's no mm. cover mechanics, hardly at all. Uh, so it's even right. like a, it's hailing from a time before the cover shooter. Well, it's not quite that old, but yeah, they definitely... There's no sticky cover. There's no... You grab the wall and shoot around this corner. It's just freeform. I like that better. I like that so much better. Mm. Yeah. It would be kind of cool if you could climb the walls like the zombies do. It is interesting that a zombie can do a chin-up and that a healthy person can't. So anyway, yeah. each each game has four campaigns. Uh, and then there's another mm. bone. There's four campaigns where they kind of each have a theme or a plot to them. This one is about getting to Mercy Hospital. There's another one about getting to a farmhouse. Another one about getting to a boat. I forget, what, but it's all these four characters trying to escape the infection. And then I guess there's sort of a story that chains all these campaigns together. Like, because every campaign begins with you knee deep in the dead and then ends with you supposedly escaping to safety. But then, you know, oh, here's another story. We're in the same position. We got to get out of it again. There's apparently a, a larger story to chain them all together. But so there's four of these campaigns you can go through in Left 4 Dead 1. And, uh, yeah, I really, I love all four of them. They, they look like my home. They look like the woods I played in when I was a kid. Uh, yeah. And you just love depopulating your childhood home? Wait, is that weird? Do other people not like that? <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure everybody loves that. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I do. Then not look anything in California, though. <laughs> Yeah, and in Left 4 Dead 2, they gave you four new survivors. Oh, e even, like, you remember that banter we had in the, the elevator where he was like, oh, these dang vampires? Oh, no, they're zombies, yeah. Francis. Like, those, there are several moments in the campaign. We didn't hit a lot of them, probably because we had bots that weren't around for the, the cues. But you get different dialogue every time you go through. Um, little different tidbits that reveal a bit about the characters. But in Left 4 Dead 2, you get four new characters, and then there's, and they get four more campaigns, and then there's another campaign um, where the two groups meet. You play as the Left 4 Dead 2 characters, but you meet oh. the Left 4 Dead 1 characters, and that's pretty good too. Just such a good game. I can't believe they're not making more of them. Stupid Valve. I would. I would just buy, I, I would still be buying these things. They're such good games. I like the, the four player play with friends co-op. It, mm. this is my favorite co-op well, game. I mean, these days it's, it's uh player unknowns battlegrounds is the four player play with friends co-op. Not quite the same. Mm. It does have hordes of, of people though. They don't run at you, and they all have guns, so it's kind of different. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of different. All right, well, that would be kind of interesting. Can you play as the as the um, the zombies in this game? Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, I didn't tell you about mode. that. Yeah, there's versus mode, which is the main mode. Like most people don't play co-op; they play versus, um, where oh, okay. one team of four players plays the infected, and you just keep spawning as special infected. Earlier I said, oh, that's a versus mode move where the smoker pulled one person out of the group and then a hunter pounced them. That's what that's mm. the kind of stuff you face when you're facing human infected. They are way more dangerous than than the AI control. They are a serious threat. And in a versus game, oh, okay. it's 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 a real fight to just get to the end, just to get oh, to the safe okay. room. Um, and then you swap. So you go there's four types of 
infected. Right, as right. Well as the four characters. Right, and the game picks. It's like, oh, you're going to spawn as a hunter next, or oh, you're going to spawn as a smoker, and then you pick where you're going to spawn. Like you'll be like, I'm behind this door, and you hit a button, and then you, it creates you, but you can't, you can't appear close to the survivors, and you can't appear within view of the survivors. You have to play within the rules that the AI director uses, where he can just spawn sure. guys in off camera. Yeah. Yeah, around a corner or whatever. Um, so I Neat. love... Yeah, this this gears a lot to this game. The other campaigns... This is like your short introductory campaign. The, the other ones are a little bit, little bit harder, a little bit more to them, but they're all good. So that's Left 4 Dead. Thank you there for you playing go. this with me, well, Paul. Thank you so much for, yeah, for inviting me and buying the game for me and everything. This is really cool. Sure, I'm glad to have somebody to play with again. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm sorry I didn't talk to you folks in stream like I normally do, but that was too much to do, so I kind of neglected you. I'm sorry. Um, we'll be back next week. I don't know what I'll be playing. But thanks for tuning in. Bye.